come back with this or on it? That's probably the most famous quotation from a Spartan woman that we have from the ancient days, from Plutarch, in fact. It's the Spartan mother handing his shield to her son as he goes off to battle, and she says, come back with this or on it. So this is episode one of our new series, The Warrior Archetype, and I want to start with Sparta and with the Spartan culture, because I think other than maybe the samurai, the Zulu, the Maasai, it, Sparta and ancient Sparta, particularly before the Battle of Thermopylae, was the supreme example of a warrior culture. And I want to start talking in Sparta about the Spartan women. And uh, here are four more stories other than the come back with this or on it that come from Plutarch, from his book or his segment, Sayings of the Spartan Women, which I highly recommend, by the way. A messenger comes back from the battle and uh, he greets a Spartan mother and he tells her, Mother, I'm so sorry, your son was killed facing the enemy. And the mother says, he is my son. And the messenger says, your other son survived, but he ran from the enemy. And the mother says, he is not my son. Then there's a second story of the messenger, a different messenger coming back from a different battle. And a Spartan mother comes to him and says, Harold, how fares our country? And the messenger breaks into tears and he says, Mother, I'm so sorry, all five of your sons were killed facing the enemy. And the mother says, You fool, I did not ask you about my sons, I asked about our country. And the messenger says, We were victorious, Mother. And she says, Then I am happy, and turns around and goes home. And the final story like that is supposedly two Spartan brothers, I don't know how this worked out, but they were running from the enemy and somehow their mother was there. And the mother supposedly lifted her skirts and said, where is it you two think you're running to? Back here from whence you came? So this is an example of a, a complete warrior society and a warrior culture where you have the army, the Spartan army, a warrior culture embedded within a warrior society where even the women, even the mothers, even the daughters are uh, purveyors and enforcers of the warrior ethic. Um, if a Spartan warrior showed signs of cowardice in battle, when he would come back to Sparta, the young girls would gather around him and they would, wherever he went, they would follow him singing these songs of ridicule. And if a, if a, if a warrior showed you know, cowardice or whatever in battle, if he were engaged to a young lady, the family would break off the engagement. And if he had sisters, and if they were engaged to other young men, those families would break off the engagements to the sister. In other words, the entire society was, was predicated around this one, the enforcement of this, this warrior concept and this warrior ideal. Now, just uh, for contrast, let's contrast it to our American culture. And again, I'm not trying to make any value judgments and saying one is good or one is bad. But our culture, if you think about the military, think about the Army or the Marine Corps, Special Forces, Navy SEALs, Army Rangers, whatever, they are, the Navy, a warrior society, but they're not within a warrior culture. They're within a completely different culture, a consumer culture, a culture of individualism, um, a culture that pursues money, et cetera, et cetera. So you have completely different values from the, the military culture, the warrior culture, and I'd include first responders, police, that whole sort of thing, um, even frontline teachers, doctors today in the COVID situation, where they, that warrior ethic is embedded within a society whose values are exactly the opposite. Like the values of the, of the wider society are individualistic, it's not really about service to a greater cause. It's about advancing your own individual ambition, whatever it is. The greater society is about money. We value, you know, the people who have big yachts and, you know, fortunes and so on and so forth, as opposed to the military culture where money is completely secondary. The, in, the, in the warrior culture of the military, we have the warrior virtue of the willing embrace of adversity. 
Whereas in a wider society, we're trying to sit on our barca loungers, you know, eating bonbons while we're watching, you know, Breaking Bad. And it kind of goes on and on from there where the, where the, um, the values of the greater society are the opposite of the values of the warrior society. And I have a bunch of friends in the special forces and I know their wives and their sisters and their mothers down in Fayetteville, North Carolina. And they, the women, are a sisterhood. And I'm sure this is true throughout all the branches, law enforcement, anything like that, where they are like Spartan women. Spartan women, but within a culture that doesn't value what they value. So in any event, this is, uh, we're gonna do a second episode of a different aspects of the Spartan women, but just to give you a sense of what a warrior culture embedded within a warrior society, where even the women, the children, the wives, the sisters enforced the warrior virtues. Oh, there's one last thing that, that I wanted to add about Spartan women. Spartan women were famous as the most beautiful women in ancient Greece. Helen of Troy was a Spartan. She was the wife of King Menelaus, who was taken away by Paris and started the Trojan War, the face that launched a thousand ships. But the other aspects of, of Spartan women were that in the uh, festivals and the progressions that they would have, the, festi the uh, parades, the young women would appear naked. And not, nobody thought anything of this. And the reason for that it was, there was nothing licentious or sexual about it. It was to encourage the young women to train, to run, to be physical, so that they would look their absolute best. And again, the whole point of that was that a Spartan woman's primary job was to give birth to male warriors who would continue the culture and continue the warrior ideal.